Oh, and by the way, one more thing. If you were living in a state or you have family, old family, these the cursed <laughs> boomers who have rallied to defeat Bernie. Oh, no. They are starting to realize how badly he does with young, uh, Bert Biden does with young people. Yep. If you find that you can't argue them out of Biden on the merits or anything else, just tell them I'm not voting if it's not Bernie. Just tell them it. Say, actually, try to like say we have a chance. You have a chance to prevent. You know it's going to happen. We're not going to vote unless it's Bernie. Vote for him. You know what? And we'll vote for. Him. I just saw a clip the other day online of Lawrence O'Donnell, yeah, yes, MSNBC exactly. talking head, two thousand six, being being interviewed in a docu TV documentary about like the sh- rotten Democratic Party, and he says straight up in that clip. I work for the Democrats. I know this. You have absolutely no hope yep. of getting a party to adopt your agenda or even pay credence to you in any way, shape, or form unless you are, you have to be willing to show them that you won't vote for Precisely. them. Precisely. Yep. He said that you have. it is the only leverage Always you had. Always be ready to walk. And he said... I worked for Democrats and we never had to take the left seriously because we knew that they, they had, had nowhere, nowhere else to go. To go. Exactly. Yeah. So and this, this is, is a un- unique moment where you could actually, if we could get enough people to say it in unison, to, to, to insist we will be withholding our vote unless it's Bernie. If these people really want to beat Trump, and I think in terms of voters, people who might be voting as opposed to the top leadership who doesn't care. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they will actually maybe be moved by this that. is the leverage that you have. It's the yes. only thing. And like, again, don't pay attention to anyone who's like, you know, well, the right thing for Bernie to do would be to drop out because that, that way he'll have a seat at the table. For no, like the shit. Future there'll the be party. no table. Oh, yeah, Bullshit. Yeah. As I said, how'd that work out last time? Well, the thing is, is that there's no like I when they say that he needs to drop out so he can uh, leverage his uh, thing into concessions. None of them explain what would happen, how that would work. All right. You don't have any leverage now because you're already in the tent. Mm-hmm. You can't withhold anything. Yep. What would make them give you anything? And they don't have an answer because they haven't thought that far ahead. No. They only say that to try to convince people to that he should drop out. It's not an act. It's not like they're actually invested in him actually getting those concessions. They just it's a way to get them maybe to stop trying to get them. Yes, but so, it is you know it's one of these things you always have to know whether you're buying or selling. And we actually have something they want. It's we yep. and they need it. Yep. Everyone knows Hillary lost because five percent drop in youth turnout from two thousand twelve to two thousand sixteen. <laughs> What's a ten percent drop yeah. going to look and like? And that yeah. would be a minimum. Yeah, at minimum. And the thing is, we could stop. And of course, they're going to get mad at first and blame you for like helping Trump. But what? Bra- it's just like that's on them. There's still Hold time. The line. Hold the there's line. There's still time, ladies and gentlemen. Vote for him now, and you won't be doing that. You'll be ensuring that we show up and that we beat Trump. It's only halftime. Yes. It is only halftime. This is the equivalent of being down by a touchdown at halftime. Yes. You know, Al Pacino, do you think he would have given up in any given second? Every inch. (laughs) Every inch. One more inch. (laughs) So, uh, like I said, if they choose, and the thing is, if they cancel the debate, that's just even more proof of everything we're saying about how fucking scared they are yeah. about Biden. They're terrified and, of Biden. And they just want to end it now. Bomb. So here's the thing. Here's the deal. The debate on Sunday, should it go forward, is going to be a big one. And we are counting on Bernie to come out in the Joker makeup. Yes. Full <laughs> Jokerification. He's got he's to go less. Joker. He's, like, he cannot... He's got to go straight for Biden's throat. Yeah, absolutely. There's no other. He's got to have a little out. flower with acid in it. <laughs> and then as soon as he says hello, the electric the hand, hand buzzer. buzzer yeah, yeah. Fry him up. No, he's got to murk the motherfucker. And the thing is, not only could that will that work in terms of exposing his weaknesses, it also makes it more likely that Biden gets mad. And we all know yes. what happens when yes. Joe Biden Ooh. gets angry. He's not to the sort of a uh, floaty, dreamy, confused tertiary syphilis stage no. of dementia. He's in the very angry stage. He's no, Frank Booth. He is raging. Elder rage personified. Dude, it yep. is. And it's he's real. he's going to be, and this is going to be straight, and he's just going to be directly attacking uh, uh, him on uh, everything. Uh, 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 Biden's going to snap. Uh, 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 listen, Jew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to happen if he gets oh mad enough. God. It's going to happen. Oh, can't where's, where's your little hat, Bernie? When I, my days, they used to, you wouldn't go out of the house without one of those little bats on your head. 